Hello and welcome to today's live coaching call and community conversation. Today I'm going to be sharing with you two very simple things that you can do on a daily basis or start incorporating into your daily routine that will significantly help you on your intermittent fasting journey, especially if you are a woman like most of the women here in this community and you feel like you're really struggling with how to lose weight, how to manage your hormones, and just how to feel good on a daily basis with what is transpiring as you go through this menopausal journey. So welcome, my name is Diane. Uh, I am an intermittent fasting mindset coach. So I help you think through all the thoughts that are going on in your brain about the decisions that you are wanting to make about how you want to live your life for your future self. And we do that through practicing a lifestyle of intermittent fasting. So welcome. Please take a second if you haven't done so yet to hit that subscribe button on YouTube. Make sure you're following the page on Facebook. Please make sure you're set up to receive notifications. I always make sure to post what we're going to be talking about um, 24 hours in advance. So I'll post on Sunday for Monday's uh, live and I post on Wednesday for Thursday's live. So you can just go ahead and set the reminder the day before as well so you'll be notified when we go live. This is your time to get free coaching. This is your time to participate in the conversation with your community of like-minded women. So please feel free to use that community chat box if you're joining us live or the comment section below the video if you're joining us on the rebroadcast. Um, and my future graduates, my June 2022 uh, course, oh my gosh, it's my July, right? My July 2022 course students, you guys are killing it. You're doing a great job in class. Thank you for showing up. I cannot wait for you to get to next week, which is our intermittent feasting class. And to all my future students, my August 2022 uh, course members who have already signed us up, signed up for class, I'm super excited for you. Don't worry. J August 6th will come before you know it, and you will be back in uh, the class with all the, the other students as well. So just hang on tight with me. Okay, so let's get started with our conversation today. Today I said I was going to share two things that if you incorporate this into your daily routine, I promise you these two very simple things will significantly help you on your intermittent fasting journey. And all you have to do is rinse and repeat this. We practice this inside the Intermittent Fasting for Today's Aging Woman course. So if you're a graduate or a current student or a future student, Pay particular attention to this today because this will either remind you of what you learned in class or help you when you get into class. So two things I ask you to do on repeat is fast long and feast well and figure out for yourself what that looks like for you and stop relying on you know, the quick fix things you hear on the internet and and have you kind of going this way and then this way and then this way and then this way and then this way and, and you never really settle into a lifestyle. And that's really what we try to reinforce here in this community is creating a lifestyle that allows you to really feel comfortable and confident and empowered in the choices you're making every single day. And it starts with these two things. Every morning, when you get up or the night before you go to bed, ask yourself, how long am I going to fast? What does my schedule look like? I have a calendar somewhere here uh, where I have all of my appointments and all of my plans scheduled out into the day. I can see what my day is going to look like. And then I fast around my day, right? And so I make a very conscious decision. How long am I going to fast so that my fasting and my lifestyle merge beautifully together and I'm not leaving my life to meet a fasting requirement or I'm not um, fasting so long that I don't get to also feel like really authentic in what I'm doing, right? So, and you have to also think about this as well is what is it I'm expecting from my fast? And then you decide every single day. This is called the ebb and flow, right? And the rinse and repeat. We talk about a lot, a lot here in this community. Just make a decision. Put a number on that thing and just stick to that number. Then within this question, there's this little subset of questions, right? Like how clean is my fast going to be? What, what is my body going to be demanding during the day? And how can I give my body what, it's, what it needs so that I can have a really good fast? All of those things will start to become really natural conversations you have in your day and how you're planning your day when you get really comfortable and confident with the lifestyle that we teach here. So the first thing 
if you incorporate this little question every single day, how long am I going to fast today? Looking at your calendar, you schedule it in like any other appointment you have and you just stick to the answer that you give yourself. The second thing that if you incorporate this into your lifestyle will help you tremendously on your intermittent fasting journey. How well will I feast today? This is that question that we have flipped. Um, and a lot of people don't teach intermittent fasting this way. We came into intermittent fasting, a lot of us, myself included, with I have fasted, therefore I can eat whatever I want, right? And what I like to teach is I am going to feast so that when I make this decision, when I answer this question, I know I'm going to feel my best because I've supported that with the decisions I've made when I ask this question. How well am I going to feast today? Again, you have to look at your life. You have to look at your calendar. What's on your calendar? Do you have lunch with a girlfriend? Can you look at the menu? Can you decide like, I'm just gonna go to lunch today and have some really bougie sparkling water, which I normally wouldn't do, and I'm just gonna not eat because I, I might not feel like it. Or I can decide when I get there if I'm gonna eat lunch with her or just enjoy her time and order some water. Like You get to make those decisions every single day based on what your day looks like. The problem with fasting and where people tend to use phrases like, I fell off the wagon or I threw in the towel or life happened and so therefore I stepped away is because you're trying to manipulate your life to fit into intermittent fasting. And what I really want to emphasize uh, here in this community where women get the best results is when you actually get good at answering these two questions and you allow these two things, the answers that you get from these two questions to fit into the life you already have. This is when then intermittent fasting becomes like a hobby and it's super fun and we don't dread it and we don't feel like we're on a diet and we don't feel like we're restricted because we can make very educated and informed and empowered decisions about how we want to show up when we get confident answering these two questions honestly based around the day or the life that we want to live for ourselves and the future. I want you to think about these two questions and I want you to think when you answer these two questions, I want you to go to this place in your head. How long will I fast today? How well will I feast today so that I can look and feel my best and live my most authentic life? So answer these two questions with this being the, the answer that you ultimately want to get when you check in with yourself, right? So if you, if this is the goal, I want to look and feel my best, but I also want to do that in a way that I can show up for my life as myself, fully present, conscious in every activity that I'm involved in, not being sidetracked or, or, or having your thoughts go to a place like, but I, but I'm not allowed, or I feel this way, or if I only, or I have this regret or whatever it is that keeps you out of being present. I want you to start thinking and leading with this thought. I'm making these decisions today so that I can look and feel my best and live my most authentic life today and in the future. These two things right here are the winning ticket for living a lifestyle that can last forever with intermittent fasting because you're giving yourself the permission to answer these questions every single day and you rinse and repeat what gets you to this result. It is absolutely fascinating when this clicks for women. This is what we focus on inside the Intermittent Fasting for Today's Aging Woman course. I honestly don't care what you do here in your feasting choices as long as you have this feeling about the decisions you're making. There is no one right way for any single woman to eat. There is no one right way for any single woman to get nutrition and nutrients into her body. You have to do it in a way that really does satisfy this for you, the individual woman. And that's exactly what I want us to start thinking about, right? Like, what foods allow me to show up as my best self? And we have to go farther out in our thoughts than just how your body looks externally. How's your body functioning internally? How are you showing up mentally in the space of food choices? How are you showing up emotionally in the space of food choices? How are you using food in your everyday life? And when we get really healthy with those thoughts and the answers that we provide for ourselves, you guys, this right here 
is super fun and this is the biggest challenge most women have. You should be able to go into any feasting situation and feel empowered and confident and excited about it and not dreading it. And that's really what happens when you get really honest and really good with asking yourself these two questions every day while you're looking at your schedule, while you're considering what other things are going on in your life, and then knowing that this is the end result that you want to get. So I hope this is helpful for you. It doesn't have to be complicated. It is very, very simple, and it starts with our mindset, which is why we lead with our mindset with fasting here in this community. Okay, if you have any questions about any of this that I shared today or this little statement right here, please make sure you put them in the comment section, either uh, as a rebroadcast member below or in the chat. I'll go through these very quickly and answer anything that I can. If you're the person that doesn't like to stay for long videos, now's a great time to punch out because I will be spending time in the community um, answering questions. I feel like the community part and answering questions is where the gold comes because you guys ask some of the most amazing questions in the comment section. So stick around. You might have something um, uh, revealed for you in the comment section if you have a little extra time today. For those of you who are interested in joining us for the August 6th Intermittent Fasting for Today's Aging Woman course, registration is open. It is filling up very quickly. Uh, so make sure you get yourself registered as soon as you can. As soon as you register, you have access to our intermittent feasting journal and guide, our, our intermittent feasting guide and our intermittent fasting journal and guide. You can start incorporating those as soon as you register so that when you come to class, you're already going to have that little, uh, comfort level and that empowerment feeling of knowing what you're going to do before you get into class. So I highly recommend getting in as soon as you can. Okay, let's see who's here. Kasia, thank you for empowering women and having us take the responsibility for our well-being. Girlfriend, it's my pleasure. Um, it was life-changing for me. And if I can share that life-changing experience that I have experienced and continue to experience on a daily basis and share that with others so they can have the same thing, it is an absolute joy. Um, before I get to the next person, I also want to recognize my friend here, Lydia Riley. She actually wrote me a handwritten letter. Y'all had me in tears. Thank you so much for taking the time to uh, think about me and, and put this letter together. It means the world to me. I'm saving it as like a souvenir, um, and I totally appreciate you. So thank you so much. Uh, Patrice, uh, September 2020 grad made another live. Girlfriend, I'm super excited. I love it when you get to be on our lives with us. PMG and Co., hello from Carrollton. I'm excited to be a future July 22 graduate. Carrollton, girlfriend, you're just down the road. I'm excited for you too. Um, and everything that I teach you in class is rinse and repeatable. So just keep telling yourself that once you become a graduate, I want you to wear that title proudly and keep living this lifestyle day in and day out. It just gets better with time. Veronica from Alabama, new listener. Girlfriend, I'm glad you're here. Hopefully you have subscribed to the channel. Hit that little like button if you don't mind. Hitting the like button for YouTube and Facebook really does help this information get out to more people. Uh, so if you wouldn't mind doing that while I'm reading the comments, I totally appreciate it. It does help us here and helps me continue to bring um, all this content to you guys. GD, can someone in this program of fasting, preferably women over 50, please tell me if you are building muscle. I think this is not so possible on a fasting program. How much muscle do you want? Like I have no problem building muscle. Uh, I'm 56. So fasting is not why women don't build muscle. Um, and, and if someone's telling you that, I think you're, they're probably feeding you some false information. Anyone can build muscle at any age. You have to do the things that actually build muscle. And I think that's where a lot of people um, get the thought process wrong. They're not lifting weights the correct way. Maybe they're not lifting weights heavy enough. Um, so you can build muscle at any age. I, I mean, I'm not trying to be any kind of bodybuilder, but look at that bad boy right there. It's pretty solid. Uh, I have muscular legs. I have abs. Like, you can do it. You just got to make sure you're doing all the activities uh, that that require you actually building muscle on your body. And then I also recommend thinking back, like, does your body build muscle well, or has that always been a struggle for you? If it's always been a struggle for you, it's always going to continue to be a struggle for you. So there's a lot of things to consider. I would recommend booking a consult call with me if you want to break it down a little farther. Joe being Joe. Hello from Nova Scotia, Canada. Girlfriend, welcome. Uh, Sharon, hello. Did you have a question? Tracy, good morning. Current IF course student located in New Jersey. Awesome. Hey, if you're in my July two. 2022 grad 
in the comments section, just quickly share like a little aha moment that you've had in class after this first week. Um, I'd love to share that with our community as well. Sandy, hello, girlfriend. I'll see you tonight on our live for our midlife mindset shift course. Tammy, I'm loving the process so far, girlfriend. That makes me so happy. Terry, good afternoon. Megan, hello from Seattle. I'm joining the class August 6th. Girlfriend, it's going to be a super fun class. We already have a lot of women from the community who have jumped in with us. Like I said, as soon as you register, you get access to the downloads. You can start reading through them and become a little bit more familiar about what goes on in class. Um, but I can't have you. I can't wait to have you either way. Carol, 2983. Hello from uh, New York. I'm currently in the July 2022 class. Love it. Janine, hello, girlfriend. I will see you tonight as well. Sue, hey, girlfriend. Christina, hi from Switzerland in the July 2022 class, and it's fantastic. Thanks, Diane. Well, there you go. Uh, I get a lot of questions about women um, all over the world wondering if you can be outside of the United States and still be successful in class. So my friend Christina from Switzerland is very successful, and she's in our July 2022 class. I make the class available to every woman of every age, of every demographic of every geographical location. I want as many women to look and feel their best and live their most authentic life as possible. So I do try to make sure we make it feasible for everyone. Donna, currently in your July class and loving it. Love it. Love it. Tracy, I don't see why you can't build muscle while doing IF. IF is just eating within a certain time frame every day and you still can get proper nutrition with good food choices. Yeah. Oftentimes, remember, this is why I say we have to be empowered in our own thinking process and our own mindset and really practice making choices for ourselves and not relying on other people, which is why I don't coach in a way that I dictate what to do. I coach in a way that I get you to ask questions and think. There's no reason why Anyone should not be able to build muscle ever as long as they're doing the things that build muscle. And I think, again, like I said, that's what trips a lot of people up. So you have to do a lot of thought work about that. Sarah from Texas. Welcome, girlfriend. Uh, Chris, uh, Kristen, hello from a Redwood Forest in California. That sounds pretty dreamy. Current student and loving it. IF is, a very simple and if it is very simple and effective. It's mostly about minding your mind. Thank you for saying that. It is about minding your mind, right? And undoing a lot of the programming also uh, that our mind is just used to relying on and thinking in a new way. So Kristen, I'm super excited for you. Enjoy the Redwood Forest of California. Sharon, first time joining from Cape Town, South Africa. Welcome, my friend. Hopefully you're a new subscriber as well. We go live every Monday and Thursday at noon Central Standard Time, and you are always welcome to jump in the conversation with us. Brenda from North Carolina. Elizabeth uh, from Las Vegas is here. Maureen from Akron, Ohio, July 2019 grad. Hopefully you're rinsing and repeat repeating this process. Jane, good morning. I'm a new subscriber. I'm down 24. I'm doing 24 hour fast three times a week and 28 hours, two days a week. Is that good? Is that normal that I'm eating less when I break my fast? I don't ever like to say if something's good or not good. I will always want to ask your, have you ask yourself, how is that working for you? Right? So if that's working for you, then that's good for you. There's no good or bad. There's only you doing things on repeat without thinking that aren't serving you or finding a lifestyle that works for you, getting the results that you want, looking and feeling your best, doing it in your most authentic way, and not caring what anybody else thinks because it's working for you. So ask yourself, how's that, how's that working for you? Do you feel really authentic in your life? Are you looking and feeling your best? Is it serving what it is you want to get as far as, as a result? You answering those, your, those questions for yourself are gonna get you the answer that you're looking for. I have no opinion at all, um, as long as you're feeling good. Jermaine, thank you, Diane. Have just started 20 hours of intermittent fasting. I feel so great and have so much energy. Good for you, girlfriend. That is the best. Hi, this is my first time here. Curious and learning. Lori, welcome. Love having new members in our community. Again, I always just ask that you subscribe so you'll be notified when I go live. Tammy, I'm down 5.7 pounds since July 2nd. Tammy, I'm so happy for you. Um, you know, I don't like to lead with weight loss, because I can't make any promises, but man, when weight loss happens, especially for women in this community of the menopausal era, um, when you can lose weight, it's a big deal. So Tammy, I'm super excited for you. I bet you feel absolutely amazing. 
keep rinsing and repeating, right? And just trust your body is going to do what it can do when you provide the opportunity for it to do, do its thing. So I'm super happy for you. And girls, it's just the beginning. Jane, good morning. I'm a new subscriber. I'm doing 24 hour fast three times a week. Okay. I think I already read that one. Um, is it normal? I'm eating less. Yeah, I did that one for sure. Karen, I'm in the July class. Just went food shopping for a great meal tonight. That is healthy for me and my family. Congratulations, girlfriend. Doesn't that feel good to go out and make choices that you know are going to serve you and then enjoy the heck out of that feast with you and your family? Uh, Rachel, May 2022, grad 53 years old and in the past two months have changed uh, in the past two months have changed my life. The question every day with every choice has become um, does this serve me well to make me feel my best? And I've lost 12 pounds. Yeah, right there, right? How long will I fast today? How well will I feast today so that I can look and feel my best and live my most authentic life? We have the power to make that decision for ourselves and then execute on the choices that we make. So Rachel, girlfriend, loving that for you. Teresa, I'm a July 2022 student, San Francisco. So happy with the course, down almost five pounds. I feel really well, drinking lots of water, enjoying the feast time and making good decisions. Thank you. Yeah. So that's two women in the July course. We started July 2nd. Today is July the 7th and they have lost five pounds or more. Again, when you get out of the way of your body, your body knows exactly what it's supposed to do. So Teresa, I'm super excited for you. Thank you for trusting me with you. It means the world to me. Um, Sherry, aloha from Hawaii. Signed up and excited for the August class. Yes, yes, yes. So excited. Heather, uh, love the concept because people are food needy. What do you do with someone who is so hungry they could eat the arse uh, end of a skunk. I have done longer fast, like five days without much hunger. I don't, I don't, if someone was that I was coaching had those kind of hunger issues, I'd have to ask them a series of questions. So if you're feeling that hungry, you have to get to the bottom of why you're feeling that hungry. No one should ever feel like they want to eat that off of a skunk. So um, if it's for you personally, it sounds like you've done five days with not much hunger, then I would just, you know, figure out what that person's doing in their life that's causing that hunger for sure. Um, Okay, I always lose my spot when I try to scroll. Let's see here. Uh, Joanne, what's that water you get again? Okay to use plastic bottles. Okay, it's Mountain Valley. This is the non-sparkling. The sparkling has a blue label on it. So that's how you can tell the difference. So it's the Mountain Valley. You can go to their website, spring water, mineral water. They're both the same thing, interchangeable phrases. Um, you can find out where it's, where their water's located, either retail, or you can see if you can get a water delivery. We get a water delivery. I trust their plastic water bottles. I don't trust anybody else's plastic water bottles. So again, it's a personal thing. You just have to figure out, do your research on what kind of plastic they're using. Sophia, good morning, July 22 class and loving everything I'm learning. I never thought how easy it would be to fast for 20 hours. I have so much energy. Thank you for saying that. I say that here on repeat, but I know when it's me saying it, it's not as impactful as as when you say it. So I appreciate you, Sophia, letting everybody know that 20 hours of fasting is just a mind block, right? Once you do it and you really get comfortable with it, it is where we find the most um, amazing energized feeling. So hopefully you're feeling the energized sense of calm. And I love having you in class with us. All thumbs. What are your thoughts about taking apple cider vinegar? I, I'm not an apple cider vinegar person. I think a lot of people covet apple cider vinegar as the one thing that's going to solve all of their problems. And what I really like to teach um, and maybe this is my military background, I don't know, but I like you to strip down to nothing, just water, maybe some black coffee and some long, clean fast, and then decide after you have seen what your body can do on its own, if you really do need apple cider vinegar or not, or is it just some sort of crutch that you're using to make up for something else? So I always recommend trying things without those, trying this lifestyle without things and then adding them in slowly to determine if you really need them. Elizabeth, will adding a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar to water mess up the fasting portion of your day? I always say yes, it will. Fast on it, fast on your own. See what your body is capable of doing without those things. Mary, loving July class. Favorite topic was hormones. That is always the favorite uh, topic because it is such a simple concept when you hear it in the way that is really designed to help you get what it is you say that you want. So I'm glad that you love that. Thanks for your instruction. Hungry is where the magic happens. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Sherry, I'm an I'm a uh, current July 22 student, loving the course and the motivation I'm getting from it. Still have trouble getting to 20 hours. Major glucose crash at 17 to 18 hours. Thank you. Yeah. So, um, 
you were probably like I was, I've, I've had glucose issues my whole life. So what I recommend doing is when you get to that 17 hour mark, try putting some salt underneath your tongue. See if it kind of gives you that little boost of energy. Make sure you're drinking all your water. Make sure you're getting your minerals, um, your electrolytes in, and then really question what you're having at night as well. Um, and the glucose drop for a lot of us is that thing that we react to when we don't understand why we're getting that feeling. So what you might wanna do is if you can, when you start to feel it coming on, just take a break. It's just your body saying, I need a fix, and you have it inside you. Your body's just not trusting to release, giving you that extra glucose that's in storage to get you through that 17 hour mark. So just trust the process. And if you can, just, I always say, just try to white knuckle it do your water, do your salt, make sure you have your electrolytes, all those kind of things. And then you'll eventually get over that hump for sure. Uh, Jeanette, hello from Puerto Rico. I'm taking the class this month, learning so much. Love it. Sherry from Portland, Oregon. My first 20 hour fast today found you yesterday. I'm confident this will work for me. Yes. Be confident. It will work for you. 100%. I have no doubt. Circle back around and let us know how things are going for you. Uh, Zeppelin, hello from BC. Betsy in July class. This is a relief and not that hard. Yes, it is a relief for sure. You can do this. You can do this. You can have the food freedom that you really desire and still live an amazing life. Trust me. Camille, hungry is the magic. Yes. Aha moment from class. Fasting long is mostly about mindset. Diane has amazing tools to help. Christina, thank you for saying that. It is a mindset thing. And once you get the mindset right, Man, it's it's like game on. You could do anything. Rachel, I'm 53, intermittent fast and building muscle. Thank you for saying that, my friend. I'm 56, intermittent fast and also building muscle. Tammy, I'm currently in your July class. I think by just sticking to the IF process and feasting on the proper foods, my body is finally releasing the pounds I needed it to. Yeah, we are an overfed society because that makes money. When we stop needing so much food and medicine, that is not a very like profitable way for countries to live, right? Societies to live. So the less you need, the more you can rely on what your own body has, the more like sufficient you'll be in everything else in your life. Save your money for other things. Don't spend it on the quick fixes. Don't spend it on the medicine. And then you can save it for a vacation or a fancy purse or whatever it is, you know, that, that, that floats your boat in other areas of your life. So we do not need as much food is actually, um, a very true statement. Uh, Sharon joining the August class. I'm so excited. Already started fasting and feasting. Yeah. Here's something I want to share with you guys. Cause we've had a couple of women make this comment in class. A lot of you start early and I absolutely love that. I never, I never encourage anyone. I never want anyone to feel like they have to wait for a class start date to start taking care of themselves if they've decided it's time to start taking care of themselves. So start early. But if you also come into class and you've never fasted, the class is geared toward you. Coming in with the experience is just someone else making the decision based on what it is they say they want for themselves. But you could have never fasted a day in your life and you can come into class on day one and you will be successful because everyone starts on day one in class. So um, I'm excited for all of you who get a little head start though. Uh, Labrata Gill, I believe it is. First time I'm so excited to intermittent fast and follow a program. Thanks so much. Yeah, you're welcome, girlfriend. Are you in class with us or are you going to um, try to swing it on your own? Tina, checking in from South Dakota, November 2021 grad and current midlife mindset shift student. Great to catch you live. So much encouragement here. Girl, you get a double dose of me today because we're going to be on our midlife mindset shift call live tonight as well. So I'm super excited to see your face. Carrie from Columbus, Ohio. How can I include lemon in my fast? Uh, in my clean fast. You can't. Those are like conflicting things. Lemon and a clean fast do not go together. So if you want to clean fast, you have to eliminate the lemon 100%. Uh, Terry, how much is the class? It's $197 for three weeks of lessons, four weeks of support. Karen, aha moment. Fasting is so much easier when you drink at least 100 ounces of water a day. Yes. Water is that big mental obstacle so many women have. Like you can't imagine drinking 100 ounces of water. 100 ounces of water is four of these. I do all my water in 25 ounces because I'm not really good at math. And so I just count four of these bottles or five of these bottles. I really like to get 150 ounces a day. And so figure out a way for you to track it. But once you get to that 100 ounce mark, it is like 
an aha moment like no other aha moment and your body feels absolutely amazing and will pay you back for giving it all that amazing water. So I'm glad that you've made that connection. Brenda, in your class, you address those of us who have IBS. There's no possible way that I can address a singular issue. Here is what I always lead with in my coaching practice. Fasting heals everything. And I say that in such a general way because I get reports back from women that blow my mind and blow their mind because they never would have thought that just fasting for 20 hours a day would have fixed eczema, the mystery rash, the aches and pains in their knees, the insomnia, the whatever, right? So do I think that you could have some relief from your IBS if you jump into class and learn how to fast and feast the correct way? 100%, as long as you're willing to do that work and your goal is to not suffer from IBS. So when I started intermittent fasting, I fasted, I say this all the time, as if my life depended on it because so many things were wrong with my body and I don't have that story today. So I fast as if my life depends on it every single day. I answer these two questions so that I get this result and that's exactly what I'm getting from my life. So uh, if fasting didn't cause your IBS, then there's no reason why fasting shouldn't help it. Terry, how much is the class and is there a link in the description? I posted a link at the very beginning of today's um, broadcast. I will post it again. And yes, there is a link in the description. You can go to fortodaysagingwoman.com. Um, there's information there as well. It is $197. It will save you money while you're in class because I do ask you to put away some things that you're kind of holding on to in hopes that they're going to fix you and they're probably not. And so a lot of women come back and say they've actually are saving money. You eat less, you grasp, you're graspy for less things. Uh, I help you end supplementation, desperation, all those kind of things. So, um, I would love to have you in class. Okay. So I'm just, um, I'm putting in the, the, um, link again for you if you want to find it, but it is in the description. Sophia, July 22 class, aha moment was listening to my body and stopping to eat or not eat just because my feasting window closes and feeling amazing. So much more energy. Yeah. So we're afraid to go without food, but food is the thing that's causing us all the problems. So when we get that cleared up in our head, it is super easy to just trust your body and know you've gotten enough, right? Um, hello, I'm trying to register. Go to fortodaysagingwoman.com. I just put the link in again. You can do forward slash find hyphen out hyphen more or just go to fortodaysagingwoman.com. Click on the class information. Um, or even if you just register for my email list, there'll be clicks, there'll be links in there for you as well. Or you can send me an email, I'll get you the info. Rhonda from uh, West Virginia, looking to fine tune my eating window while adding in keto-like food. Thank you. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and we use the phrase keto-like, which I know confuses people and they think I'm ketogenic. I am far from ketogenic. But, but there is a common sense approach to us women getting more fat back into our diet, especially if we grew up in the era of fat-free. Um, and so not being afraid of fat is what I really like to help women understand is we need fat. We need those good um, fats in our diet. So more fat, moderate protein, and then being very aware of where your carbohydrates fall in. Megan, currently experiencing heartburn right now, 16 hours into a fast. Any tips? Don't want to drink my ginger tea because I don't want to break my fast. For those of you who are experiencing heartburn, I would get to the bottom of why you're experiencing heartburn from the feasting standpoint. Something that's in your body that you're putting in your body is causing that to come up during your fasting window. Do a very, very thorough log of your feasting journal. And if it's so uncomfortable that you can't get through your day, I would risk breaking my fast if ginger tea helps soothe the heartburn and do all the work on the feasting. Something's going on in your feasting window that is causing that heartburn. It is not doing nothing. It is not putting nothing in your stomach. So an empty stomach is an opportunity for a stomach and a gut to heal do that healing work. And I promise you that heartburn will eventually go away. Sarah, I've registered for August class and cannot wait. Starting to practice fasting now and can't wait to join the next month to stay motivated, learn more, and join community. Yeah, the community is the best. We have a really cool group of women in our July. We have a really cool group of women in every class, but I'm speaking from the fact that it's an immediate thing on my mind right now. Um, I feel very fortunate that we always pull in the correct 
women, the right women from around the world in every single class. I don't know how that happens, but it always happens and I'm super grateful for it. So Sarah, you will have a really good time in class with the other women for sure. Gloria, hello from New Jersey. This was helpful as I started menopause and I like the 24, the info you provide is helpful. Good good for you, girlfriend. And keep coming back. Like uh, we're not going anywhere. Ariel, what age do you focus on? Women in early forties still working on fertility or those only those perimenopausal or postmenopausal. So I suffer from infertility issues, uh, my mid forties, mid thirties to my forties when I, uh, ended up having my last child in my forties and I used this type of approach. Um, I didn't know I was doing it at the time, but a lot of infertility issues or, you know, fertility things really do come from how we are taking care of our body. And so, um, this helps all women. We have women in our course from thirties, getting a head start, forties, fifties, sixties, seventies, eighties, nineties. Um, I just helped my mother-in-law reduce her A1C and she's in her like mid nineties. And so all age groups can um, benefit from this because you're just learning how to take care of your own body by your own decisions and not relying on someone else. So Ariel, uh, we focus on all age groups for sure. Patty, July, 2022 class day three is pretty good. Day two, I felt sorry for people around me because your body's transitioning, right? And here's the thing that once you get over that hump and everyone seems to get over the hump on the same day, then it's literally your home free. As long as you stick to the lifestyle that you're creating for yourself. And then you can, know that the people around you are really lucky because you're going to be very energized sense of calm a lot, right? You're going to not have those highs and lows. You're going to feel good about yourself. You're going to be empowered about yourself. You're doing something that I consider to be selfish and I love being selfish with me first. So then I can show up as a selfless self for other people after. So doing the care for you first means that those people that you love that maybe have suffered the last day or two are going to get the better version of you now. So Patty, you're doing good things. Tracy from Michigan here. I love the 20 hour fast. I feel empowered. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome, girlfriend. It is magic sauce for sure. I still don't know why people are warning women against fasting for 20 hours when it is the magic. It is the magic sweet spot for sure. Tracy, my aha moment from class was removing my cup of tea from my fasting window to my feasting window, punch through my latest weight, plat weight plateau because a clean fast is the fast that your body wants, right? And we, again, covet these little things and make exceptions for little things in our fasting window. And those are the little things holding us back. And then we blame it on other things. So Tracy, I'm so proud of you for experimenting with that. And now you know. And then what will happen with your green tea is it will become something that you actually enjoy and cherish and pick a day, maybe a Sunday morning or a Saturday morning when you have tea, maybe in the, a little bit later in the morning and you enjoy it as just a little treat and not something that you have to have every single day. And that green tea will be a super, super special thing for you for sure. Kay's commentary. You look so good. I just found you. Thank you so much. Um, Joanne, how was your holiday weekend? I hope you had fun. Yeah, we did. We just hung up. We're a homebody family. So we hung out at home and barbecued and had a great time laid out in the pool and stuff. Teresa, July, 2022 class aha moment, watching a Diane video on YouTube, talking about IF and the benefits realized that I needed to reset myself to feel better every day, which is why I joined the July 22 class. Girlfriend, I'm so grateful that you trusted me with you. And I'm so grateful that you invested in you. This will change your life for the future as long as you definitely uh, continue to rinse and repeat this. Pam, new July class, working on my what's, what, so I want plan and have, working on, I think maybe you're thinking about working on your why. So I want to plan and happiness, I think is what you're trying to say. I don't know, that seemed a little, um, probably some typos in there. Donna Gio, I'm in the July class, loving this and all of your knowledge, and especially your mottos and energy. Yeah, mottos are life, you guys. Um, and I'm currently working on getting us some t-shirts. It's been a process, but I want us to have some t-shirts that we can wear our mottos uh, proudly throughout the day. Kathy, your tough love on dirty coffee stopped my weight loss stall. Fasting 16 to 20 hours, varying it daily. Yeah, coffee. Like, you know, it sells, right? The, the whole like... 
um, bulletproof coffee and collagen in your coffee. And like, oh, that's a big market. Um, and all we really need is coffee. And for some of us, not even coffee. Like I go many days without coffee now. I just don't need that to start my day. My body has enough internal energy to get my day started on its own. So, so, pr so proud of you and glad you hit that or broke through that plateau. Megan, my comment too long, but I have a ton of energy during intense workouts in a fasted state. Follow Diane's guidelines. It will change your life and blow your mind. Exactly. Thank you for saying that. Uh, yeah, you just got to try stuff and see how it works out. Daughter of God Almighty, I want to know what to eat. I know it depends on each person. I've struggled with my weight. Um, yeah, I would say jump into class for sure. I would teach you how to think through all of that. And every woman knows how to feed herself. We have just gotten lazy in our mind because we've become dependent on others to tell us what to do with our body and they don't even know us. So I will teach you how to figure that out for yourself so you don't have to be dependent on anyone ever again. Uh, Sandy, my biggest aha moment was that, that after you get your IF schedule established, it sort of becomes an autopilot thing. Sometimes I get to dinner time and have not thought about food one single time. Yeah. How long will I fast today? How will I, will I feast today so that I can look and feel my best and live my most authentic life? It's just how you operate. 100%. Uh, Christina, in the July class um, now, I'd have lost 5.6 pounds in four days. More important, I feel super energetic all day. That is the third person who said that they've lost at least five pounds or more in the July class. We're just rounding out the first week. All they've been doing is fasting. So congratulations, my friend. How much is the class? $197. Rhonda, I started watching you last month. I feel 100% better. Just need to reach that 24 uh, for deeper healing. Yeah, you'll get there. You just got to make the decision. Just tell yourself, do this little process and tell yourself, I'm going to fast for 20 hours today. Magically, it'll happen. Rhonda, by the way, I'm in your July class. Love you. Love you back, my friend. Uh, Cynthia, how much water do you suggest again? 100 to 150 ounces of water in 25 ounce increments makes it really easy on the math side. Veronica, I have subscribed and plan to join the August class. Cannot wait to have you, my friend. Cindy, June 22 class member, loving the material. My main problem is mindset. I'm able to do the fasting and I'm getting better at the kind of feasting. Okay. Cindy, here's what I recommend that you do is today at some point, I want you to sit down and journal a little bit or write down and maybe in some of the, the handouts I give in class, um, make a statement that your mindset is open to learning new things. That way you take the problem away. You believe the problem is your mindset, but you're in control of that mindset. So just state that. I'm open to learning new things. My mindset is open to learning new things. And then you'll be open to learning new things. And if you have to tell yourself that every single day, by all means, tell yourself that every single day. Delinda, I signed up for the August class, but um, I'm so excited. I want to fast tomorrow. Is that okay to start early? 100%. Never put off you knowing that you're ready to make a positive change for your life. So yeah, start asking these questions, my friend, so that you can start getting a head start on this. And then I explain everything in class. So it'll all really start making sense when you get into class. Petty Q Y T F. Hello, Diane. What electrolytes are good to use drink wise? I have water that has magnesium, potassium, and calcium. And then I add sodium to everything that I eat. And I, you know, I'm not afraid of a pinch of salt here and there. Um, and so those are the main ones that we want to get. Magnesium and sodium are usually the two that we're most deficient in. Delinda, oh yes, I'm starting tomorrow. I hear you commenting on others' comments like mine. Okay, awesome. Good. Patty, I'm afraid to weigh. I don't lose. If I don't lose, I'm not sure where my headspace will be. Then don't weigh yourself because weight is not an indicator of success. This is the indicator of success. How do you look? When you see yourself, do you see changes? Does your face look brighter and healthier? Is your skin feeling better? Are you sleeping better? Um, do you wake up ready to start your day? Like all of those things are indicators of success, not the scale. And then are you doing that in your most authentic way? If you do not, if you cannot manage your mindset and your emotional state when you see a number on a scale, I say throw it away because it's not going to help you. It's going to derail you and you're going to blame everything on fasting and it has nothing to do with fasting. What is the success rate for your classes? I, I don't know. Read the comment section for sure. I can't guarantee you a success because I am not one-on-one -on -one coaching you. You have to decide what your success rate is. S. Hyde. How successful do you want to be? That's how successful you're going to be in class. Um, we have women coming in from all different walks of life, 
all different countries, all different histories. I give you the foundation. You decide whether you're going to implement it or not. I don't dictate to you that. And so if you want results, decide you're going to get results and show up with that kind of mindset. I promise you, you'll, you'll blow your mind. Louise, uh, June 22 graduate, loving this lifestyle, feeling amazing, weight coming off, even when I, even while on estrogen blocker, excited to see more non-scale victories and what the future uh, me will look like and feel like. Thank you for all that you do. You're welcome, girlfriend. And on estrogen blockers, there you go. We can just, you know, debunk that little myth right there, Louise. Thank you so much for sharing that. I'm sure that's going to help so many other women. Delinda, I cannot wait for the midlife mindset call as well. Whenever that happens, I'm ready for it. Tonight, at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, if you are a member of my Midlife Mindset Shift course and community, it's a six-month coaching program. It's been posted in your community group. If you're not in the Mindset Shift course, it's because you either are not a graduate yet or he declined not to join us. So it is a private group for sure. Francis, today is my first day. I don't need to wish you luck, my friend. You have it. You have got it. Veronica, I fasted on and off for the last three years. I get so much energy that I have a tough time falling asleep. Any thoughts or suggestions? Cut out caffeine. Um, stop your feast a little earlier. Um, and then maybe just do some nighttime routine that kind of helps you settle down for sure. Uh, that was a great question. I thought lemon water was okay to use. I'm going to sign up for the August class. Okay, awesome. Can't wait to have you in class. Uh, Libra, I'm in the July class now and enjoying the ride. Your easy explanations and this ride just received the Keto Mojo and the Lumen. The Lumen app is not working. I sent an email to them asking them about the issue. Yeah, 100%. They're the best. Their support is great. Um, I teach briefly on the Keto Mojo, like how to use it inside the Intermittent Fasting for Today's Aging Woman course. I don't coach on the Lumen inside the class because you can find success with the way I teach class with no tools, no extra purchases, practice what I teach in class, rinse and repeat. The tools are extra if you're a data-driven person and like to see the numbers. So uh, Libra, the, the group, the coaches and stuff inside the, the Lumen app are fantastic. If you need some help there, you can book a consult call with me. You can jump on live with me on Instagram on Fridays. I answer questions there. And then we, we're going to do a little bit deeper work inside the Midlife Mindset Shift course. Coffee is okay if you can metabolize coffee 100%. Uh, yes, only black coffee. Today is my first day and I'm 14 hours in. I can't wait to see my results. Girlfriend, keep post, keep us posted. We can't wait to see them either. Um, Terry, uh, thank you for the link. You are welcome. Zagros, um, we're going to, we don't know who he is. Um, let's see, Gloria, um, let's see. Amazing class, doing the July class, so happy. Okay, cool. I'm going to try to get through these last ones so we can get out of here. It's 47 minutes. Uh, fizzy water, most racetrack gas stations have free carbonated water. Yeah, there you go. If you live close to one, that's great. Be hello. Um, um, Reagan, uh, Rachel, you can do it. I it took me two years to finally get to black coffee. Yeah, for sure. It's not that hard. Get a good coffee. Hello. My first time live. I tried 20 hours fast for six days and lost four pounds, which is my greatest record after many other trials. I will continue because I'm obese. Many thanks. Yeah. Just every day, ask yourself these two questions. Don't treat this like a diet. Treat it like a hobby. And I promise you, it will never, ever let you down. Jade, will the process help someone who has Eller, Ehlers, Danos, and on a vitamin protocol, I have no idea what that is. Um, but if it didn't, if if you weren't fasting and you still have that condition, then I don't know how fasting could hurt. But I would definitely talk with your doctor and do some research. You are super welcome, Deb. Does LMNT break a fast? Not sure when I should drink for mineral benefits. I normally strength train. I always say go to the person that sold you that and ask them. So I don't use it. I know there's a lot of fasting people who recommend it and they're um, being paid by the company to promote it. So ask the person that you bought it from or whoever's discount code you use, see what they say uh, for sure. I would tell you not to use it. And I don't know if that's what you want to hear. Okay. So that's our class live coaching call for today. Um, I love you guys. I love that you show up here. I love that you share what you're going through. I love the amazing questions that you ask because I, I guarantee you someone else had the same question um, and you just helped them. You gave them some encouragement and some uh, confidence to just start today. Start today. Ask yourself, how long are you going to fast? How long are you going to fast tomorrow? How well will you feast tonight? So this feels amazing for you tomorrow so you can get to these results. 
That's all we do here. Rinse and repeat. And then I help you manage those thoughts that are coming in your mind because you heard something from somewhere else or you've done this before or you failed at this before. You don't believe it's true or, oh my gosh, how can I get rid of my creamer? Like I teach you all that. Um, and then I ask you to jump in class with us because I promise you I will dial this down so simply for you. I will give you all the tools that you need so you can go live an amazing life and you don't have to worry about the next fed diet or the next trendy supplement, or the next quick fix, weight loss, something or other, you won't fall victim to that stuff anymore because you're going to be super empowered in the decisions that you as a grown woman know how to make for yourself. And I think that is the biggest thing that so many of us um, really need to remember is that we have all the things we need right now. We have, we are very intelligent. We're very independent. We know how our body feels. We know the way we want to look. We just got to practice making those decisions those decisions to make it happen in our most authentic way. Okay. I'm out of here. I will see you guys on Monday at noon at central standard time. One thing, if you're still here at the end, you're going to get this little bonus reminder. I got an email today from someone who graduated from class a couple of months ago. I think it was May. She has been on thyroid medication. She said for many, many years, I think it was hypothyroidism. She started fasting, fasting heals medicine controls. So she's been on controlling medicine for her thyroid and she's been fasting, which is healing her body. She had to go to the doctor. They ran some blood work. She has now had her thyroid medication decreased because her body is learning how to operate on its own. I get so many questions about thyroid conditions. Thyroid conditions are the result of lifestyle choices that we've made. If you make better lifestyle choices, you can in fact get your thyroid to bounce back. So please make sure if you are under the care of a doctor, if you are taking a prescription medication to control your body while you're healing your body, you have to keep your doctor informed and get regular blood work done because your body will come back to acting as its normal self while being controlled and that can cause some problems for you. So stay in close contact with your doctor, get blood work as often as you can, and then ask if you can have some medicines re-looked at and possibly either decreased or eliminated altogether. That's the ultimate goal that we want to have here. Okay. I'll see you guys on Monday. If you need me, email me. I will help you with information about how to get into class. Leave a comment in the comment section below. I answer basic questions. I cannot diagnose anyone. I'm not a doctor. I cannot cure anyone. I'm not a doctor. And I will give you the most frank, to the point answer to questions that you have. I answer hundreds of questions a day. I do my best. Please make sure you ask a question that you really need to get an answer to, and I'll do my best to get that answer for you. I'll see you guys on Monday. Have a good weekend.